Hi, it's Steve. Today we're going to show you how to change the control board on your range, and it's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver, a thin bladed putty knife, and maybe a pair of needle nose pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this job, the first thing we're going to need to do is to disconnect power, and we'll also need to pull the range far enough forward that we can access the back. So either turn the power off at the breaker or fuse panel, or unplug it, and then pull the range forward so that we can get to the back. Now once we've pulled the range far enough forward that we have access to the back, we'll next remove six quarter inch hex head screws that secure this upper back panel to the cabinet. Then just let that panel drop down and remove it. Well, next we have four more quarter inch hex head screws that hold that control board assembly to the console. So we'll remove those. And then we can lift that assembly clear of the range. And we can then disconnect the wire harness connectors that are attached to the control board. This large one, you usually just rock it back and forth to remove it. And the individual wires that are attached on the end of that control, you'll need to take note of the color codes. So either a photograph of them with your phone or just mark them down and then remove those. Now if you find some of those terminals a little tight just take the needle nose pliers and pry them off and we'll also inspect those wire terminals carefully to make sure that there are no signs of any arcing or corrosion and if so we would need to replace that terminal. Now with the control board removed You'll note that the new control board does not come with the overlay on it. Now we can either remove the old overlay from the board assembly and attach it to the new one, or you can remove the control boards themselves from the housing and swap those. Typically these overlays will come off quite easily, so with a thin putty knife, just go into one edge and very carefully slide that the length of it. Be very careful not to crease it. and it should just lift off. Now, typically there is enough adhesive left on that overlay that we will not have to add any new. Now if you feel that the overlay does not have enough adhesive on it, you can take and run a strip of double face tape around the perimeter of the housing for your new control and it only needs to be about a quarter of an inch wide. So we'll carefully position that overlay on the new control with it centered. Just press down on the edges and should adhere. You can now reconnect the wires to the terminals. And 
again, make sure that they're nice and tight. And the multi pin connector, make sure it's firmly pressed onto the new control. And then rotate the assembly into position. And then reattach with the quarter inch screws. And we just make sure we tuck the wire harness safely out of the way. And then we can reinstall that upper back panel. Now when installing this back panel, we'll keep all three of those tabs at the top in behind the lip of the console. Start by just inserting that top center screw. And just loosely install that so that we can move the panel around enough to line up all the rest of the screw holes and then go ahead and put them in. Now with all the screws tightened up, we can push the range back into position and reconnect the power. Once we reconnect the power, our repair is complete.